Dimbor Benson is a new name in this league, but he has a fantastic story. Possibly one of the best I've seen in a long time. Apollon back into the starting 11. He'll be out at left back. This is how the home side, the Fuego, line up. Looking over to the visitors, of course, they've been in this back three system for a little while now. Stretch Dangler in Killwine. They're going to stick with that. Two teams looking for their first win in this competition. There is the referee's whistle, and we are underway. Actually getting into running and working on those sorts of things is much harder. So they did some of that, and they also gave some people some break. He said being able to see your family and friends can be a real boost. Here comes Apollon now. Foot race with Heckenberg. He gets by. Apollon on his right. Dinks it off the post. Broke away. And in the end, a stop. So his first appearance is in a little bit for Granada, so it's good to see him back there. Watson. Header in, straight at Zulaga. Waves away, Spangler. It'll just be Daniel Steedman. Lobs one in, might go in on its own, and it does! Daniel Steedman floats one in from distance in Tormenta lead. Just over 15 minutes in. They have been pushing for that opening goal. Steedman then went on to his third MLS team in Charlotte, spent some time with the reserve team, Crown Legacy. Lobbed in, headed towards goal. Dingler again. Should be offside. Still he goes on, Vivas puts it wide. Right about where the ball is now is where his free kick came in from. Trying to hop on one here. Vivas almost took a deflection, but Avales was equal to it. Not to be as the referee will blow for half time. A Daniel Steedman goal. And the 16th minute separates us as Central Valley go yet another 45 in the first half. It's a real intensity to start this second half. Mariota for Tor. Good cross. Benson straight at Roman. He had four goals in three U.S. Open Cup games. And he drew so much attention from this Central Valley coaching staff that they signed him to a pro deal. Carrera Garcia, Benson back to goal. Mariona now. Space closing in, and Roman hops on it. 4 3 loss to Northern Colorado. Here they come, though. Through the line, Siobhan John Brown skips the keeper, rolls it into the side netting. Carrera Garcia beautifully weighted. Does so well to get around the keeper. But in the end, just... Two goals in League One for the Brazilian. It's laid off here. Fired in! Medins levels it for the Fuego. Goals in back-to-back -back games. Just what the doctor ordered. Got the game-tying goal against Richmond. As Siobhan John Brown holds it up beautifully and side-foots it into the bottom corner. The substitute Medins. Two goals in two games. Picked off by Tor. Carrera Garcia saved. 
Drew Romig from point blank. Winner. Referee plays advantage, Tunbridge. Killwine! Not too far away. But we are not done. USL League One After Dark continues because we will now go to penalty kicks. Ramos. Puts it the other way, but off the bar. The geometry of chance denies him. Scored the goal to tie it against Richmond. Scored the goal to tie it against Tormenta. And now to give them a market advantage in the shootout. Dinks it off the crossbar. No starts in his last five games. Koury now fires it over. Playing in just his second full 90 of his very young pro career. Crosses his heart and bars it down. One for one, sudden death at this point. Cromwell, the Ghanaian. Misses it wide. Central Valley have been in the position to win this shootout multiple times. This is Tormenta's first. Campos to win it. Upper 90. Tormenta take the penalty point and go back to Georgia with the spoils.